Hi there, fabulous people of the internet. Welcome to 2021. I hope you had a good start to the year and let's all pray that this year is at least slightly better than the cluster that was 2020. Today, I wanna to just kick off the year with some great new developments on LinkedIn. I'm a massive fan of LinkedIn. I think that it's the best place to advertise, certainly in terms of social media advertising on the internet. And so they've got four key exciting things for beginners and for advanced people on LinkedIn that are going to really help you generate more leads and close more business out of the platform. These are new features that they're adding or they've just recently added that you need to be aware of if you wanna get the maximum success as a digital marketer using LinkedIn. Now, before I crack on with my four key picks, I wanna say if you are looking to generate leads on LinkedIn, I have down below in the description box below my Leads on Tap blueprint, which uses LinkedIn marketing automation and content strategy to get maximum results out of LinkedIn as it stands. Everything I'm about to say you are gonna be bonus icing on the cake in order to get even more things out of the platform. But if you wanna get that Leads on Tap download, go in the description box below and go get it. So number one, this is for people that are quite new to LinkedIn. As you might already know if you've done some ads on Facebook, they always had this boost feature. So this was a feature that allowed you to just post something organically on social and then click the boost button and you could actually experiment with advertising. Now LinkedIn historically has never had this, but they are launching something or they just launched something called LinkedIn Campaign Lite. It might not be available in your country yet, but they are rolling it out. Um, it started in America end of last year, and it is gradually making its way to all the countries. What this will allow you to do is basically have that same functionality as Facebook. It's a much lighter way of experimenting, dipping your toe in, and getting some really great ads and results out of LinkedIn. So do check that out. Number two, slightly more advanced is the story section. You may have seen stories in Instagram, Facebook, and more recently in YouTube. Stories are those kind of phone-sized videos that are about 20 seconds and they disappear after 24 hours. These have been really, really successful across all the platforms that have tried it. And so it's no wonder that LinkedIn is trying to get this feature also in its repertoire. Now this has already launched, so you should be able to access it already. The way you can do that is on your LinkedIn profile. You just click your face and then there's a plus button. You can upload a video or a image, and then you'll be able to send it out to, to loads of people. Now, the really brilliant thing about this is that it will get a lot more views than what you would traditionally be doing on LinkedIn, whether you're posting something. If you're someone that has a lot of prospects in LinkedIn, maybe you have a lot of conversations and you're tracking accounts, key accounts that you wanna go after, this will allow you to get your face in front of them a lot more, to build more rapport, build more trust, and just build more presence. With these kind of new features, they always try and push them. So if you look on YouTube, for instance, you will see in the stories creators that you've never subscribed to, that you've never heard of. And that's because very few people are creating stories. So YouTube, wanting to push it, is pushing you people that have only a few thousand subscribers and they're getting massive reach because they are on stories. And I imagine the same thing will be on LinkedIn. Those that are early to get into it and to get the hang of it will do really well. The stories function will allow you to overlay on top of your images some text, some stickers, and also will, be, will allow you to actually mention specific other LinkedIn users. So you can imagine what a cool way of communicating with prospects this could end up being. If you're unsure what you should be doing with stories, go check out some of the influencers in your space or maybe other people in your industry that you respect and that are doing innovative things and see if you can steal or nick a few of the best ideas to develop your own story strategy. Now, another one that is launching, uh, this is my third one that's launching this month in January at the time of recording this video, is actually the event type ad. And this is super, super cool. Last year, after the coronavirus just wrought its havoc, um, everybody started going to online meetings, online events, and a recent report by McKinsey actually shows that this is likely to stay. Online events and online meetings, video meetings, video sales, are being seen by most big B2B companies as a feature of the new world. And so even if COVID was just to vanish tomorrow and everyone was vaccinated, something like 80% plus of B2B organizations say that they will heavily weight their sales activity to the online funnels, online business models. Now, some people have kind of found it a bit difficult to run online events. You've got to use different platforms. Um, yes, you can run ads through places like LinkedIn, but having to deal with all these different technology and you know integrations to your your CRM and all that can seem like it's not worth you know all the hassle and understandably so but this LinkedIn event type ad will allow you to run ads to your target prospects, inviting them to an event, and they can actually RSVP and get reminders 
directly within LinkedIn. How cool is that? You'll also be able to host the event itself on LinkedIn using LinkedIn Live. So by the combination of LinkedIn event ads and LinkedIn Live, you'll be able to run your entire online event directly through the platform, which makes a whole life easier for you as a, as a B2B marketer or as an event organizer. So if you are thinking about doing events or you do do events, consider the LinkedIn ecosystem as the place you would do that. The fourth and final one that I have, and I, I'm personally really excited about, is the document type ad. So my favorite type of ad is the LinkedIn lead gen form. I discussed that at length in my Leads on Tap book, and I also have a video um, explaining all about what a LinkedIn lead gen form is. The LinkedIn lead gen forms allow you basically to get people to download your white paper, your ebook, or webinar, or whatever. And so they're really good at capturing data directly from LinkedIn. Alternatively, some people will use ads to push people to a website page, and on that page, they can download a lead magnet like a white paper, ebook, and so on. Now, once you actually have that data, you still want to retarget to the same customers, right? So if I get all that data into HubSpot and I then want to send people nurturing emails thereafter, I also want to keep following those people around the internet with additional ads. Now in the past, retargeting ads would have just been basically more lead magnet type ads, more display type ads, but now with this document type ad, we see it as gonna, it's gonna be a key thing where you can actually retarget people entire new white papers that are ungated. So think about the document type ad as an ungated sponsored content ad or an ungated lead magnet ad. So someone, one of your prospects, who you've already got in your database, that's fine, but you're now following them around the internet with additional really high valuable content that they don't have to submit any data for. And think about it, why would you need their data a second time? Once you've got it the first time, your real game that you wanna play with them is to just feed them more and more information, builds your authority, builds your trust, and gets them further and further down the buyer's journey with respect to your service or product. So highly recommend adding this. We expect that to launch Q2 of 2021. So I'm waiting with bated breath to have that as I think it's gonna be our main retargeting ad as part of our wider ads that we do for our own agency and for all of our clients. So that's my four main ones. I've got one bonus one and that is a new LinkedIn feature called smash the like button on this YouTube video. I'm joking, it's obviously not a feature, but if you do it, that would be great. And also subscribe to this channel if you want more and more up-to-date info about the latest things going on with lead gen, marketing automation, and digital marketing in general. Thanks a lot. I'm Larry Koch. See you for the next video.